So you're thinking about moving to Springboro, Ohio, but which neighborhood is the best neighborhood for you and your family? Well, you are in the right place, my friends. Today, we are taking a special tour of one of my favorite neighborhoods here in Springboro. It is the infamous Settler's Walk, and this one is near and dear to me. I've lived in two homes here, and I'm excited to show you the neighborhood, help you to get the lay of the land. We're gonna look at three different homes today, all from the lowest sale point all the way up to the highest sale point and one in between just to give you an idea of the average. Stay tuned for that last one. It is a showstopper. It's a 7,000 square foot home. You definitely want to see that one, but you don't have to wait because we're going to get into it right now. This is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is about living in Springboro, Ohio, Settlers Walk especially, make sure to hit that subscribe button, tap the little bell for notifications so you can be the first to learn about the market here in Springboro. My name is Mike Wall. I am the team leader for the Love Ohio Living Team. We are the number one real estate resource here on YouTube. My team and I get calls, emails, and texts from people just like you every single day looking to make the move to Springboro and we absolutely love it. So whether you're looking to make a move in the next nine days or 90 days, it does not matter. Give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or even schedule a Zoom call in the description below. We'd be happy to help you make the smooth move to Springboro. Okay, so before we get started looking at houses, I wanted to bring you back to the office so I could show you where Springboro is on a map uh, and then where Settlers Walk is located in Springboro. And so what I'll do is I'll share my screen with you. We'll start with a map of Dayton and then move into Springboro and then on into Settlers Walk. And to do that, I'll share my screen with you. So Stay tuned, I'll add you, and we'll get started right away. And the first thing we'll do is we'll start with a map of Dayton. Uh, this is Dayton, Ohio, and as you can see on the map here, what I've done is I've circled Wright-Patterson Air Force Base because we tend to work with a lot of people coming into Wright-Patterson Air Force Base who are transitioning in from other places around the country and oftentimes around the world. And then also uh, circled the downtown Dayton area because we do have a lot of, uh, of our larger employers who are um, concentrated into that area as well. And then onto the south there, you can see Springboro. Um, so right Patterson, right here, Dayton circled right here. And then just to the south here, you can see Springboro which if you've seen any of my other videos, we've done neighborhoods in Centerville, we've done neighborhoods in Beaver Creek and uh, we've done neighborhoods in Kettering. We've done neighborhoods uh, pretty much all around the area, Huber Heights, uh, Clayton, Inglewood, Vandalia, Miamisburg. And see, these are some of the more popular suburbs around our area. Uh, when folks are transitioning in, they are requesting to live in some of these areas. But Springboro, again, is uh, one of our more popular areas. And today we're doing Settlers Walk. And this one's really easy for me because my wife and I have lived in two houses in Settlers Walk. So uh, what I'll do is I'll show you a map of Springboro. So this gives you some context. And here's Springboro. So to drive out to Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, uh, depending on where you're at, um, being in the north side, which Settlers Walk is, or the south, you're looking at probably a 25 to 30 minute drive. And there's never really any traffic to get out to any of those areas. The only place you'll ever really run into traffic is maybe right here on 75 going into downtown sometimes, but it's never that much, especially if you're coming from, you know, like a Dallas or a Houston or a Los Angeles. Some of the more um, major metropolitan areas that do have a lot of traffic um, is, uh, is quite a relief when you get to the Dayton area. So let's look at Springboro. So I'm going to zoom in on this area right here and I'll go to the next slide here, this is actually, let's do this. So here's, excuse me, this is Springboro. And so this dotted line that is not a square or any shape for that matter is, is actually the um, boundary lines for Springboro. And what I've done is I've actually circled Settlers Walk, which is obviously located in Springboro in the neighborhood that we are discussing today. Um, this area out here is also um, part of the Springboro School District, but it is considered uh, the township. So it's Clear Creek Township. And then this obviously being Springboro proper. But you can see 
um, 741 runs right through the middle of Springboro, uh, and here is the 75. So this goes right up through to downtown Dayton, and then if you're going south, it goes into Cincinnati. And so um, one thing you will note here is this will probably be the largest um, neighborhood uh, in all of Springboro. It, it has more houses and um, more, I guess, living spaces than any other community in all of Springboro. It is a just an enormous plan unit development with, you know, several pools, playgrounds, clubhouses. And so again, it's one of those, it's one of those things that really attracts people. And the HOA is fairly low. I think in, in the highest area, it's probably, um, you know, close to 800, between 800 and $1,100 annually. So it's a very affordable HOA for those of you who understand the value of, of an HOA. And then, so what I want to do now is kind of zoom in on Settler's Walk. And so the next slide will show you, um, this is the actual entire neighborhood streets and everything. And a couple things to note here um, is I've lived um, on Stanton right here. So we lived up here just past uh, Pew and we built a house back here. One of the things that you may want to keep in mind is there's a, the county line runs right through here. So your taxes to the north here are considered Montgomery County. Your taxes to the south here are Warren County. So that's something to keep in mind. Montgomery County taxes are a lot higher than Warren County taxes. And we didn't know that when we bought or built our house here on Stanton. And uh, we definitely were a little surprised or shocked when we got our first tax bill there. But um I will not let you make that same mistake. And then we also bought a house here um, on Greg Court, which is right here. This little cul-de-sac right here. The blue dot is actually my old house. We love that house. We bought that in um, 2012 and then just recently sold it here about a year ago and have moved on to another neighborhood here in the Springboro area. But this gives you kind of a, a really close up uh experience of the Springboro area. One of the things um, that you will note here also is that there's a YMCA, which we were members of for several years. Great workout facility, basketball courts, a pool, uh, indoor pool, and um, it is a great place both for children and adults. And then there's um, a wonderful grocery store right here called the Dorothy Lane Market. And you guys have heard me talk about this on some of our other videos. They make um, the infamous killer brownie and my favorite is the peanut butter killer brownie so make sure if you go to the dorothy market you get a killer brownie so i don't want to hold you up any longer i know why you're here and i want to get you out to see some of these houses so we'll get back to our regularly scheduled program thanks So here we go, stop number one. And I'm gonna start over here because I've got some goofball running his snowblower and it's 53 degrees in March. And so if I go over there, you're not gonna be able to hear me. But anyway, we're here at 40 Blos Court. This is uh, the lowest comp for 2022. This particular home sold for 235,000. It actually listed for 235,000 and it sold in 35 days. The house was built in 1998. It has three beds, two baths, built on a slab, so no basement. 1,137 square feet, which puts it right at $207 a square foot, which is, you know, on the high end. 
The lot size is 0.15 and it has a two car garage. The HOA is pretty common throughout this section of the neighborhood. It's $650 annually. And you're paying into a great swimming pool, clubhouse, walking trails. Uh, it is just a fantastic area. As I mentioned before, my wife and I have lived in two houses in this neighborhood. And uh, we actually lived on the other side over there. But this particular home, 40 Blows Court, again, it listed at $235,000 $235, and sold for $235,000. And that will give you kind of an idea of, you know, what the lower end looks like in Settler's Walk. So I'm gonna go show you another one. We're gonna look at it right now. Stop number two, this is 129 McDaniels Lane. This sold in November of 2022. It was on the market for 27 days. It listed at $309,000 and sold for $320,000. So it sold for well over the asking price. It was built in 2002. Here's the house behind me. Three bedrooms, two and a half baths, built on a slab, 1,947 square feet. The price per square foot was $164, so about average. Lot size is 0.15, two car garage, and again, HOA is $650 annually. This is towards the back of the neighborhood. And I guess if there was one drawback is it does border uh, Springboro's airport, which is right back behind this area here. But there's not a plane, a lot of planes in and out of there, so it's not super noise or anything. And the cool thing about these houses on this side is that there's no rear neighbors and it's just really an open field. So that's kind of cool. But anyway, this is more of your mid-range comp for Settler's Walk, right around that $300,000, mid $300,000 price point. And so if uh, your budget is in the 300s, this is what you can buy in Settler's Walk. Let's go look at the last one. Okay, here we are, third and final stop for today. We are actually in the Stonebridge section of Settler's Walk, and this is the upper end. This is 280 Hickory Hills. This property sold in May of 2022. Here it is behind me. And I told you to hang around for this one. This is a 7,700 square foot house, listed at $825,000. Sold for $810,000, took only 30 days to sell. It was built in 1999. It has five bedrooms, four full baths, two half baths, full finished basement, as I mentioned before, 7,700 square feet, which puts it at $104 a square foot. So that is a real value in this area. The lot size is 0.75. So one of the things you do get in Stonebridge is a larger lot. It's a three car side entry garage and the HOA here is $1,145 annually. This particular section of the neighborhood has its own private pool and it also has pickleball and tennis courts, as well as walking trails. So if you have an $800,000 budget and you wanna live in Settler's Walk, this might be the perfect home for you. Well, not this one, because it sold last year, unless they sell this year, but you get my point. So that wraps up our tour of Settler's Walk for today. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, tap the little bell for notifications so you can be the first to learn about the market here in Springboro. Don't forget, my name is Mike Wall. I am the team leader of the Love Ohio Living Team. I do these videos for one reason, one reason only, and that's to help educate those of you looking to learn more about Springboro and the surrounding suburbs. 
My team and I get calls, emails, and texts from people just like you every single day looking to make the move to Springboro. We absolutely love it. So whether you're looking to make a move in the next nine days or 90 days, it does not matter. Give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or even schedule a Zoom call in the description below. We'll be happy to help you make the smooth move to Springboro. Thanks for watching.